Good morning, y'all. It is currently 7.53 and we are on our way. The boys, Jericho and Desmond's in the front right here. We're on our way to Chevy because our truck needs an oil change and we also have a power steering fluid leak. So that, that's what's going on right now. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm gonna put the camera down and you guys will see us in the next clip. That is our view right there at seven o'clock. 7.55 now. So beautiful, the sun is coming up. Good morning once again, y'all. So we're back home, Corey's in school. I made Desmond some yummy breakfast. Move your arm, thank you. Excuse me, I mean. And he's making himself a bagel. Anyway, so uh, what do you want to vlog? Desmond's like, you didn't vlog today, so I'm what do you want? like your routine. Get up in the morning. You be, you be like, this is still new to you. Like, what do I do, what do I vlog? <laughs> That's how I talk? Yeah. <laughs> what do I vlog? Anyways, y'all, y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. All right. What's up, people? Just looking at this right now, I have to change my background. I like the background, but I got a better one that fill up the whole wall because I feel like I, I have to be centered right here in order for me to get my message across. Look at that. All that package going on. Anyway, how you guys doing today? And I know the channel, my channel isn't up. I have no videos up yet. However, it's in the making, no doubt. But what I want to talk to you guys about today, I don't even want to use the Bill Cosby voice. Y'all know why, never mind. But um, just motivation and how important it is. I also wanna say that motivation isn't just once a week and it shouldn't be. And inspiration and motivation are similar. I'm not, I'm not gonna break it down right now. However, they're needed. They're needed like water. They're needed like air. They're needed like food. You need that because life is hard. Life is a mother as they say life will knock your ass down and keep on moving and if you're not strong enough it'll keep you down now i know for myself example i always use myself as an example because i've been knocked down i've been in certain places that were really foul and i had no business being there but i had to get up and so it took a couple of years and i'm and when i mean a couple i mean 26. um yeah i, I think 26 27 was when hey des hey this stuff ain't cool no more getting drunk, getting locked up, doing all the other stuff that can affect you in the long run, it ain't cool no more. You know, just, hey, you you gotta make some better uh, life changes. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you gotta be. Um, it's very important to be serious and honest with yourself. A lot of people can't do that. There are a lot of other people, a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? But inside, I think first, you look in the mirror, you see you, you see your flaws, you see your strengths, and you have to be honest with yourself at all times. That's the only way you're gonna get through it. That's the only way that you're gonna be able to break through that barrier is if you're honest with yourself. Now, back to motivation, because I'll get off track. Motivation, like I said, you need it all the time. Me, you guys saw the clip with me listening to my motivation in the morning or before work. I listen to it at lunchtime. I listen to it at dinner time. You know what I'm saying? I have to have a motivation. It isn't just a one-time kick. It should be you something all the time. And then, you know, once you get that, you're pumped up. You're pumped up. You know, like when 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 things are going at you sideways, don't even worry about it because you got that motivation. And if you need a, a snack of motivation, you, or you need that snack right now because your boss is being a dick, don't even worry about it. Hit that motivation. Usa. I'm gonna tone him out. And I'm gonna open my ear to that motivation. Don't worry about it. Cause what happens in life is you get tested. And I feel like we've all overcame something or we won't be here today. How many, how many can attest to that? It may not be the all like the same journey or that same test, but everybody has overcome something. And that's that's why we're here. And that's all life is. Life is about um, overcoming obstacles to get to that better place. And sometimes that shit can be hard. Real life, it can be tough. It can be, oh my goodness, it can be horrendous. It can be like the worst thing 
at that moment and what happens sometimes and i hate to speak about it but it's just what it is it's sometimes things can be so overwhelming in your life that you feel like life is not worth living you you feel like it's so it's, it's that bad that you don't want to live anymore and i can probably think of a couple of reasons life in prison Holy shit, who wants to do that? Things like that, but like when things are, are, are bad and you know you got money problems and you know your wife left you and your dog died, it sounds like a damn old country song, you know? But you have to find the pieces, you have to find the positive in those attributes, in those characteristics, in that event right there, you have to find the positive. And sometimes it is hard. What can be positive about my wife leaving or my husband leaving? What can be positive about my dog died? You have to find it. The positive is uh, maybe that motherfucker snored too much or she couldn't cook any goddamn way or the dog was the best dog, but now you get you another dog and get the puppy stage. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have to find them because one thing about time and life and experiences, it, it keeps going and then you have more experiences. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's a, it's tough, you know, when things are happening at that moment, it just seems like it's the worst thing ever, but you gotta find that positive light. For me, in my life, I'm so used to challenges because I've been through it, that now when they when they come towards me, I'm already looking for the solution. Boom, oh, this is happening right now? I pause, I don't panic. I think of the solution. Something's happened to me. Something's happening in my life. How can I fix it? What are my solutions? That's really what it is, real talk. And I do that with everything. Something going on at work, what's the solution? Something going on at, at my house, what's the solution? Something going on when the IRS send me some paperwork, that's real talk. You find a solution, you know, and you can't let it overwhelm you. Cause what it does, it stacks up. It stacks up, it get too high. It get too high for you. And just think about this right here. It, this is the water right here and it just builds up. And once you get up here, you know, it's kind of hard for you to breathe. You know, I don't like water. I can't swim that well. I'm black. Oh, you know, it keeps rising up. I shouldn't have said that, but I can't swim. So, you know, it gets up here and hey, you can't breathe no more. And once your water is up here, you you panicking. You know, you can't do a lot. You can try to get up there, I'll get you some air, but you gotta start knocking those things down. And the thing, the only way to do it is, is to think about it. I promise you can think about it and you have positive people around you, that's also the key. And we'll get to that later. Positive entity people around you that are positive you have that one parent that one friend that one whatever that you can go to when you feeling down at your lowest and they can bring you back up Ooh, that what you want that what you want all right i'm about to uh eat this eat this pizza i shouldn't be eating it because i'm on the diet but anyway um i really mean what i'm saying find that positive light it could be steve harvey it can be jesus it can be uh, TD Jakes. It can be I, I list off a whole bunch of what I go to, and it's not just I said it's not just one person. I have several, and I know when I went to go see TD Jakes um, at his church in Dallas in 2003, four. It, I, I, that's how long ago it was. It was 2004, but I would never forget it. I don't even know what made me go up there. I think I was going up there to like go clubbing or seeing somebody, but I wasn't even a church going person at that time I was fornicating and I was doing stuff I can't even, I ain't gonna put it out yet but um you know I was wilding out so I don't know but something made me go to that and I felt like out of all those people in there I felt like he was talking to me he understood what I was going through he knew my pains he knew my struggles he knew my vices and superfluities he was talking to me and I I mean I I cry I I did um when I get emotional and I feel like it's a how can I say it? It's a beginning. It's a uh, it's a triumph. You know, it's me recognizing my weaknesses. When I recognize my weaknesses, I feel like it's a strength. When I can be honest with myself, something has been lifted off my shoulders. I feel better. I got that off me. You know, I got a problem with drinking, and let's let let's, let's work on that. Off me. You know, what I'm saying wasn't spending my money right. You know, let's let's get it together. You know, what I'm saying let's 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 think about. Things that are gonna benefit me and my family in the future. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it has to be first and foremost, it has to be you. Yeah, you can point the fingers at everybody else, all oh, they're doing this, they're doing it. It starts with you. It always starts with you. At the end of the day, that's all you're gonna have for real. 
if you're single or whatever, it, it ain't about your parents, it ain't about just your, your, your kids, it's about you. Because you can't even do all those things that you want to do for your family, for your wife, for your, your mom and dad or whatever until you get you together. And it, I'm not saying it's easy. Hey, Dez is still working on Dez. But Dez gonna be awesome because I can't stop. I can't stop. And I, you know, and I and I won't stop. I get motivated. You know what I'm saying? I get motivated about this college. Cause college is hard. I don't know if y'all be seeing me working. Dez ain't on the vlog. Dez is working. And when I come home late, I still gotta do homework. And it ain't stopping. I I, I don't want it to stop. But when I get that bachelor's degree, <laughs> I be happy. And then I ain't gonna stop. It gonna keep going. It gonna keep going. Like, sorry. Last thing, and I gotta go. How many used to laugh at nerds? Those ones that took school so serious. They didn't go clubbing. They didn't do all that cool stuff. They didn't wear the nice clothes. They was focused on school, education. I bet they had goals. Most of them rich nerds we used to laugh about. Those are the rich people. Those are the ones that's rich now, huh? They rich now. Shit. So, I mean, it's funny to see myself twisted and I'm more focused on, you know, doing my schoolwork than I am playing on PlayStation. My PlayStation got dust on it right now and I'm mad because I ain't played. You know, that's another story, but you know, it's, it's about your focus. When you say, oh, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. It's amazing what you can find time to do when it's a priority to you. And better in yourself, better in your life, better in your education should be high on everybody's priority list. But I see it's not going to the club is though. Hey, huh? Drinking is. Mm. So you got to find your priority and, you know, get yourself out of that stupor. And always say to yourself, yes, I can. I can do that. I can do all things. I say it. I can do all things. And keep saying it. Peace. Daddy's here. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Say, Daddy. He sees his brother playing outside. He's like, Why can I go outside? I would let him go outside, but right now I'm cooking. It is currently five. I think five thirty. <laughs> Daddy's here. Look, come. Come on. And plus, like, I can't leave him outside with Corey by himself. The... No, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Uh -oh. well, I heard you. Hi. Hi. Hey, the house is so quiet when you're asleep, you know that? He wasn't even sleeping, he was just up there playing his room. Okay. Well, that's what I like him to do. Sometimes like you need a break from all this. Hi, Jericho! Alright, say hi. Hi. Say hi, Mama. Say hi, Mama. He don't like me. He don't like me. See. He likes you. No, he, he loves you. Oh. He don't think he has to like you. He loves the mama. Be nice and get off of me. You know mama? Be nice to mama. Mm. Oh, he's fake Jeez. now. Just, Can I have a kiss? Y'all made for Can each other. Can I have a kiss? Mm. Aww. Thank you, fakeness. He did that for the camera. I know, right? <laughs> hey. 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 We love when he does this. Check that booty. Check, check, that booty. Check, check, check that booty. No, leave her alone. <laughs> leave her alone. Aww. No. Oh! <laughs> he trying to give her popsicle. She probably. Oh, I guess not. She even trying to eat every damn thing. She said she wants some more chicken. No, make my damn finger. Feed it. Daddy got skills. Sing just like me. Go ahead, boy. Are you recording?
So everything he's doing right now is all in a matter of like five minutes. This is Jericho. All day, every day. What's he doing? Oh, he's going backwards. <laughs> And get her no, and that's that's a looking all, like I caught a lick. That, that's a whole all natural uh, ice cream too. He working out and eating healthy at the same time. At the same damn time. Oh, uh -oh. you'll get brain freeze. You'll get brain freeze. It's not fun. Whoa! Oh. Check off. Go, 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 go. Get it, 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 get Thank you. That's mine. Clean that up for me. Making a mess. Don't let me do that. It's not nice. Mommy just swept these floors too. Yeah, you did it. Made a mess. Now look over here. Mira. Good. That was good. Do it for the vlog. <laughs> do it for the vlog. <laughs> do it for the vlog. Do it for the vlog. Do it for the vlog. Hey, hey. Do it for the vlog. Look at Corey out here. With some boards and his friend. They're having fun. <laughs> Isn't he so sweet, y'all? He rubbed my toesies. I need some uh some construction gloves. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're laughing at your own joke. Nobody else is laughing. It was funny. That's why these toes be all up in your mouth. Hard. When was the last time you had these teeth in my mouth? You put them in your mouth when like two weeks the ago. Last time, you know, two week liar. Was I drunk? Just lick it. Lick it. Lick it. Oh, it cracked. <laughs> you like it. Come on, suck Get on it. Me. Suck on it. He's watching my videos, you guys. I'm gonna put the link to that video down below so that you guys can check it out. I was teaching the kids English and Spanish. Look at Peppa Pig. She's eating a chocolate cake. out. So, excuse me, Jericho. <laughs> so, can you explain them what's going on down here, please? So, this is the proper way that you're supposed to go. Who told you that? It feels better, okay? It feels better when you have a little elevation on your leg. I wish you can elevate the hell out of the damn bathroom so I can, take them, I can shower. Go shower. I'm not going anywhere while you're in there. Ew. Can you stop recording me? You lucky you didn't get me like like five seconds before because I was like <laughs> Jericho. Look at that noise, what's your problem? What? Why do you mean? Where's the juice? The Spider-Man, honey, he wants it. It's on the ground. Look, you guys, it's nine. PM by the way, we do, we're putting the boys to bed and look at how bright it is still. Once again, I am super excited for the summer because we will be getting 24 hour sunlight. So that is exciting. And my New Yorkians, New Yorkians, New Yorkers are going to experience it. I'm going to experience it. My New Yorkers are going to experience it. Why you don't like me? You're annoying. Yo, she don't she don't listen. I don't know what's wrong with women. They got like they gotta talk so much and not listen. I tell her so much that she doesn't listen until but, she yeah. Anyways, can we end the vlog? Yes, I'll bring uh, you some drawers. Uh can we end the vlog please, my love? Stop grabbing my love handle. That's so rude. I love you, love handles. Whatever.
I ain't got no shirt on. You look good. No, man. Tattoo tour coming soon. Yeah, but when I'm not fat, I don't want to be showing tattoos and fat at the same time. You showing so. it right now? This is no, I'm sucking it in. Now, no, real talk, sucking it in. The fat. Anyways, say bye, my love. Bye, my love. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for helping us hit. 14,000 is crazy. Crazy. Like, I, like you ain't finna see Dad's hype because I don't do all that. 120,000, I might start, you know, taking it up a notch. 50,000. 50,000? Shit. I don't know what I might do. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. We we need to definitely like have a drink one of these days to celebrate fifteen thousand. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm buying a bottle of Moet for a hundred thousand. That's something I'm waiting for. Okay. Other than that, I'm not popping the Moet. You know what I'm saying? We will just continue to motivate ourselves because I don't know if you guys have noticed today. I haven't really vlogged. I haven't been feeling my best with myself but i'll just talk to you guys some other time about that because i will blab and i know desmond blabbed a lot today it was good blabbing uh, but i about to say because i don't blab i speak the truths i bring that knowledge b but we will continue to just get better motivate ourselves and become better people look at his face Hey. So you guys, since we hit 14,000 for you new subscribers, a <laughs> YouTube fam, let us know what you would like in the videos. Like, what would you like to see? And not that, y'all nasty. What would you guys like to see in our videos? For, for those of you who have been watching forever, what do you guys want to see in our vlogs? Please comment down below. Oh God. Yeah. I'll put that up. I'm definitely gonna put that up. Anyways, you guys, we love you so much and you guys will see us tomorrow. Peace out.